Yeah, this one's very mature. So like, oh, I think I breathed it in my nostrils. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I asked y'all on Instagram if you wanted to see my perfume collection and you guys said yes. So I wanted to make this video. I've never done a perfume collection or any fragrance videos before on my channel. So I thought it would be a cool idea, especially going into the fall, into the winter. Who just doesn't love perfumes? I love perfume, I love fragrances, and just all of that. I'm not like a huge, huge, like buy a fragrance every month or even every few months type of person. I have to really, really like a scent in order to purchase it. I do have eight fragrances that I'm going to share with you guys today. Before we get into the video, I wanna give a huge thank you to Faithful Counseling for sponsoring today's video. If you are new here, then you don't know, but Faithful Counseling is one of my trusted sponsors here on my YouTube channel. If you're unfamiliar, Faithful Counseling is an online Christian counseling service. Faithful Counseling allows people like myself and you to receive counseling from the comfort of our own home. Through Faithful Counseling, you're able to get your services via chat, video chat, email, phone call, literally whatever works best for you. And it's super convenient, very easy to sign up. When I signed up, it took me like 10 minutes to get paired with a counselor. And I was paired with a counselor in my state, a licensed professional, and it's very easy, very quick to get signed up. And you basically will just fill out some information and share what you're looking for and they will pair you with somebody. Like I said, it's very quick, very easy. For me specifically, I have found a lot of success through counseling for stress and anxiety and just managing my day-to-day -day workload and it has made such a huge difference in my life. So if you are interested, I have a link down below in which you can receive 10% off your first month. So yeah. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So off the bat, the sort of fragrances I personally like because fragrances and perfumes and all of that basically comes down to personal preference, what smells good to you. But for me specifically, I am always drawn towards vanilla scents, sweet fragrances. Um, sometimes I like fresh, like clean smelling scents, but sometimes fruity. The, the one note I'm really not a huge fan of is just like straight up floral. So I don't really like rose scents or lilac or anything like that. But like I said, anything that's like warm, like vanilla, sweet, fruity, fresh. I like citrus. That is me. So if you are like me, then you most likely will like some of the fragrances in my little collection. I will say that I built my collection over, I'd say over the past three years or so. So yeah, I definitely do not buy fragrances all the time, but sometimes you do want to treat yourself. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop rambling and get right into it. So this by far is my most worn fragrance. I'm going to put the notes over here so that you guys can see for each fragrance what they claim that the notes are, but this is my favorite. By far, I wear this the most. And this is Aqua by Giorgio Armani and y'all. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. It's very fresh. Like if you just got out the shower and you wanna smell fresh and clean and good, this is your scent. It has a little bit of citrus. I believe it, ha it might have a little bit of lemon or brown sugar. Like I said, I'll have it all over here, but it just smells very fresh and crisp. And this is one that my husband really, really loves when I wear, I don't know, it's something about it. And it has like a really good lasting power as well. I got this in like the 3.4 ounces, I think. And I've been wearing this a lot. I don't do a ton of sprays. I usually will spray my wrist, maybe my neck, my shirt, and that's it. I don't often have to reapply this one. And it just is a very safe, clean everyday scent if you just want to smell clean this is it 
and it just smells very feminine but also kind of like grown but kind of chill at the same time like it's not all up in your face but you just smell good so if you want to smell this for yourself i know they have this at ulta definitely definitely my most worn scent so i also have sun by giorgio armani the first one was aqua this one is sun and i haven't worn this one in a while y'all but i'm gonna try and spray it so i I don't know where I'm gonna spray. I'm just gonna spray it in the air. Let's just spray it in the air and see. Yeah. This I got kind of like more for the fall, the winter. It's a lot more warm and spicy of a scent. It smells very mature. This scent is definitely unique and it smells very sophisticated. And this is a really good fall and winter scent. I initially bought this a few years ago and I don't go through my fragrances like like crazy. I know people who like buy fragrances all the time. That is not me. But yeah, this it has a really good lasting power. It's strong, it's it's warm, it's spicy. If this one's probably out of all of my fragrances the most of an acquired taste. The next time you go to Ulta, definitely smell the Giorgio Armani scents because this one just smells really good and it's very good for fall. So I'm almost out of this one, but this is one of my all time favorites. This is Mon Peri by YSL. Ugh, and it's this is a really, really good scent for summertime. It's sweet. I know that they say that it's like floral, but I get more of like sweet vanilla, just more like fresh, sweet vibes from this. Not so much floral. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this so that we can see. This just smells really good. It's very fresh, very feminine, very girly. And with this one, I feel like anybody could smell this and like it. It just is very fresh, very feminine, very sweet. And um, I, I feel like it has hints of vanilla in it. And I don't know but I don't think I've met anyone who doesn't really like this fragrance. I got a smaller one, but whenever I run out, I'll definitely purchase a bigger one. This is a fail-proof, really, really good everyday fragrance. So my next perfume I wanted to share with you guys, there's some dust on this one. I need to dust these off. <laughs> but this is from KKW Fragrance. I believe that's what her line is called. And she did a... She did like a, a launch with, with her sisters and I think that this is the Courtney one. I'm not really sure what sister it was, but y'all. I heard people raving about this on, on YouTube, so I had to try it. And I just love this. This, is, this one is so good. Let me spray it. I didn't smell it. Yeah, this is very like sexy sweet feminine all of that it smells so good and i'm not like a huge kardashian fan or anything but this is a really good scent and um i find that on me this one lasts a pretty long time as well that's why i still have so much left of it like i said i do not like run through my perfumes and i cycle through and wear the different options a lot but yeah this one just smells very like very mature, very sexy, but also still very sweet. So it's not like really, it could it could possibly be like a nighttime evening fragrance, but for me, it is more of like a day to day, whenever I feel like it. Whenever I wear this, I just feel really good about myself. This is probably one that I was very excited about when I first got it. One thing I don't like about this is how like it has to lay flat. So like it doesn't stand up. So I feel like that's a little weird. It would look a lot cuter if it could stand up but it's whatever this scent is really really good i don't know if they sell it anymore but if they do and you can find it i would definitely recommend it so the next one i have for you is black opium neon and black opium used to be like my scent like years ago probably back in like 2016 2015 now probably like 2016 i used to wear that all the time and i wore it so much that like corey could sniff when other people had it on we would go out because he's like that smells familiar yeah because i would wear it all the time so i don't wear or i don't have like the regular black opium anymore but this is a black opium oops this is a black opium neon and i smell this in sephora and i love it i 
this is very fruity very sweet but it also has like a matureness to it is matureness the word it also has like some maturity to it as well Ugh, i love this one yeah this one's very mature so like oh i think i breathed it in my nostrils But yeah, this one lasts very long on the skin. They have different variations of black opium these days. They have like the original, they have intense. Um, I know they have one that has more of like a powdery undertone to it, but this neon is more of a sweet twist. Um, still smells very good. It's very strong, but also very feminine. This scent is not masculine at all, but it's very feminine, strong, bold, and it smells sweet, but also warm. So this could also transition into the fall as well. Honestly, I wear my fragrances whenever I feel like it, but this one is one of my favorites. My mom got this for me um, for my birthday this year. So only a couple months ago, and I love it. That's why I got it in like the larger size because I know I'm gonna keep reaching for this. If you've never smelled any of the black opium since you might want to, they smell really, really good. Um, and yeah, this one's a YSL scent as well. So right here, I have like a smaller one. This one I use when I'm traveling. This is Poison Girl. And I know it is by Dior. I know my mom always wore Poison when she was, I don't know, when I was younger. And it's like in more of a red bottle and that always smelled really good. But Poison Girl smells very nice as well. It's very similar to some of the other scents that I have very sweet but also like flirty this, yeah this one's a good one for date night this is one that i like if corey and i were traveling you know pre-pandemic this is one i would i would take with me and just kind of apply on my wrist my neck and it's just a really really good date night scent or just for yourself scent and um, sometimes it's nice to have smaller perfumes in your collection so that you can just throw them in your purse and not have to be bothered. But yeah, this is kind of like my traveling or I'm about to be out and I need something to go into my purse. This is it. I love that one. So another date night scent that I have loved over the past maybe like year or two is this Jimmy Choo, what is it called? Jimmy Choo, I don't know y'all, the name isn't on here. I don't remember, but like I said, I'll have it over here. Mm, this, uh, y'all, this is why this is my collection, because I love all these scents, you know, like, there's no surprise that I love these, these are my fragrances. But yeah, if you like any of the scents that I do, definitely, definitely look into the other ones. Okay, so let's spray this and see how it is. I feel like this has vanilla in it. It's very warm. So this one is warm and sweet, not very fruity in my opinion, but it's warm. It's kind of like commanding, but yet also soft. <laughs> no, I'm so extra, but like this is the perfect, perfect date night. You're trying to be sexy for your mans or whatever. Do people still say or whatever? Because I literally say it all the time. This perfume just screams that I'm here and I'm, I'm with it. I'm down for some fun, whatever that means to you. For me, that means let's go to Starbucks and let's um, try a new drink. But fun is relative. It might mean, hey, I'm ready to go to the bookstore. Whatever it means for you, that's what this is. Whatever fun is. Oh, I love this. So this one is also kind of small as well. It's only like 1.3 fluid ounces. So this one can also be tossed into the purse, um, especially for like a date night or a night out. This is a good one, y'all. Okay, so the last and the most recent addition to my collection is this Killian perfume. I think it's called Princess. I'm not sure, I'll have it over here. But I got this a couple weeks ago from Sephora when they were having their sale for like, Think like $20 off or something like that and uh I really 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 like this one and I haven't put on perfume today because I wanted to spray one of these on oops I literally just missed but it's okay 
I love this scent. It's really nice for fall. When I got this, my intention was to wear it for the fall. This is a little bit stronger of a scent. It's a little bit more, it's still sweet, but it's not like super traditional. It still has vanilla in it, but I think it also has marshmallow in it or matcha or something, but this smells very mature. It's a little bit more heavy of a scent, a little more commanding, but it's still sweet and feminine too. I really like it. It's very like spicy and warm and just nice for the fall and for the winter. Sometimes when I really, really like a scent, I just go ahead and get the biggest size that they have because I don't like the feeling of running out of stuff. I mean, as you can see, the only one I'm almost about to run out of is like my little Mon Puri. But other than that, like I'm not about to run out of my scents. Um, and I really like this one. The packaging is a little odd, kind of looks like a Black Widow spider to me, but this is how it sits on the dresser. And it just smells really good. I think the marshmallow is what really got me because it just is very cozy and comfy for the fall time. Ugh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, in its entirety, this is my collection. It doesn't look like much, but it is eight cents and I have some that are nice for the summer, some more for the fall, some for date night. You know, just for any occasion, just feeling good, want to smell good, whatever. I kind of have a lot. So yeah, I don't see myself adding more to my collection anytime soon, but I don't know. I don't smell fragrances all the time, but if I really, really do like one, I do try to like save up or splurge. But like I said, I might get a new fragrance like maybe once every eight to 10 months, very rare. But yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what is your favorite fragrance? What is your go-to? So comment what your favorite fragrance is and what your like how you would describe your scents so that people can comment below and see like okay she likes warm and spicy or whatever and that's her favorite scent so I'll go try that you know so for me I would type maybe that my favorite one is Aqua by Giorgio Armani and my type is I like sweet warm fresh so yeah, if you comment like that, we can help each other out so that we can try new fragrances, new scents. I know for me, like new fragrances is something that just kind of makes me excited for the new season. And I'm just super girly and I love perfume. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are interested in checking out Faithful Counseling for yourself, definitely be sure to check the description box. Until next time, I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Bye.